Hi everyone, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. Today's topic is the divorce, um, happy to di be divorced or divorce party themes that or trend that we've been seeing of late. I remember quite a few years back because Kenya Moore was not married yet. This was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And Phaedra Parks was going through a divorce and Kendra thought it was a, Kenya, I'm sorry, thought it was a good idea to throw a divorce party. And Phaedra, understandably so, was insulted and offended because there's nothing fun and celebratory about divorce. And, but I've been noticing in the past couple of years, you've been seeing these divorce parties and women being so, you know, ec ecstatic about being divorced or whatever. And I think it's a sad state of affairs. So I'm going to show you a couple of clips of women who are celebrating their divorces. Right? I'm officially divorced. Yeah. That was her divorce from Seraphie. Uh, I think I pronounced his name right. Honestly, I did not see that marriage lasting anyway. I didn't like put it out in the universe by saying that at the time that they got married. But clearly, she, like a lot of women, are not marriage material. Um, they love the whole concept of maybe the elaborate wedding and maybe the idea of marriage, but they don't really want to be wives. They still want to be out in the streets having their fun, which is kind of evident by this next one. I got this My And judging by the way she is dressed, she still wants to be out in those streets. Don't know the woman, don't know why she divorced. And I'm going to get to a final clip. But one thing that I want to say, when I talk about marriage, because one of the rebuttals from so many women online, and this is why I try to talk to you young women, because I want to combat the narrative that all marriages are just doom and gloom, the wives are unhappy and all of that stuff. Marriage takes work. There are ups and downs in marriage. There are, um, what's that, ebbs and flows. You know, you're going to have happy times and you're going to have not so happy times. There are going to be things that might come against your marriage. And if um, directing this at Christian women, if you're a Christian woman, you have to pray for your marriage. You have to pray for your husband. Pray for yourself to have wisdom. Um, the final clip. This is Tia Mari. I did not get her talking about the celebration part of her divorce. But she was talking about how she graduated from her divorce and how her um, marriage was a success and all of that stuff. So here's that clip. I, I, I look at it as one of my friends, she sent this beautiful letter to me from a woman who got a divorce. And it's all about, you know, this perspective, in my opinion, and just changing the narrative. You know, m my marriage was a success. Yeah. I look at it as like a curriculum when you're in college or high school, right? You're learning, you're growing, now, you're evolving. At one point in another interview she was talking about <clears throat> excuse me how men need to be traditional again men men need to court and she without naming her former husband's name Corey she talked about how he courted her how he was traditional and all of that stuff and I really don't understand how so many women because we see it in real time almost every day especially in our community you have a lot of women that think that traditional minded men who want to court are just, you know, you can just go out into the backyard and just pick them off the tree. Men are not the same as yesteryear and women are not the same as yesteryear. And about five, six years ago, I did a video on why men no longer court. I had no idea that it was as bad as it is out here for men. And as you can imagine, it's, it was like my most viewed videos. I think it's got like over 50,000 views. Again, I did not know that the dating world was, I mean, I, I probably did mention it. I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was this bad. And, you know, and back then it was the MGTOW men, men going their own way. But I think now you have um, 
to save yourselves, black men. You have the passport bros. But back when I made this video, the end thing was the MGTOW men. And <clears throat> so I ended up being cussed out, called all kinds of ugly and fat and all of that stuff. And it bothered me at first. Until I realized, well, number one, the ones calling me those names didn't even have their picture up. So, and another thing was there were mature men who broke it down for me. And that's how I was able to glean a lot from what is going on in the dating world. And unfortunately, women are the ones who killed chivalry, courtship, traditional men. And as I say oftentimes on my video, you can't ask for a traditional man while being a non-traditional woman. And a lot of women are really showing themselves of late by celebrating divorce. And you cannot celebrate divorce. Listen to all of these bitter women online on how much they hate men and marriage is not a benefit and all of that stuff, but you still want a traditional man. You still want this man to come save you, rescue you or whatever. It doesn't work like that. So I think that we are in a very sad state of affairs that we are at a place where women are celebrating divorce and, and, I, and I know the rebuttal is often, but you don't know what they went through. You trying to make people stay in unhealthy marriages and blah, 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 blah. Let me tell y'all something about the women that say stuff like that. One thing that I've noticed, and you don't have to take my word for it. Watch Kendra G's show. You have a lot of women on there who will stay in a relationship, not even a marriage, but will stay in a relationship because the eggplant is that good. Because he comes through every now and then and gives her something, something. There was this one woman on the Kendra G show, and excuse my crudeness, she got three men in rotation who comes to lick her box. So women see nothing wrong, especially the ones in our community. They don't see nothing wrong with that. But oh no, marriage? Oh, that's like the worst thing that can happen to a woman. Knowing full well she's laying up with Tyrone because his eggplant is good. So, young ladies, this is why I try to talk to you in particular, because as I often say on my channel, marriage really is a good thing when you're married to the right person, but you have to be the right person as well. And you have to, if you're a Christian, pray for wisdom in how to be a wife to your husband. And also understand that marriage takes work. It's not a fairy tale. It's not a Cinderella, Snow White, and all of those other fairy tales. It's not a Hallmark movie. When you see people that's been married 20, 30, 40, 50 years, trust and believe they went through some stuff. But they stuck it out together. And when I tell women to stick it out, I'm not talking about in hardcore instances of infidelity or abuse. I'm not talking about that. Marriages have ups and downs, and it's unfortunate that more older women are not trying to talk to you younger women. I'm an older woman. I'm trying to talk to you because there are a lot of older women who are my age, some a little younger, some a little older. They're still in competition with you, so they're not trying to talk to you about you're going to eventually get to 45, 55, 60 and you're going to literally want a husband then. You might be like, you know, I'm cool. I don't need no husband right now. Give yourself a few years and you will see. But that was my topic for today. Please make sure you check out my other videos and subscribe if you have not already. And to my subscribers, I, I appreciate you. I tell you that all the time. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.